Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jeff Glowing Double O Cabbage here. Thought you'd never see me again, huh? Well, seems to be a bit of a resurgence of the uh, old guard in the VC, so I thought I would uh, come on and say hello and maybe show a few records and see how things are going with everybody. A big, uh, a big greeting and uh, condolences to uh, Fred Big Star 1000, the passing of his wife, Sarah. Uh, no words, uh, many people have been saying, and it's, uh, it's very true, there's no words that can, uh, uh, can assuage that kind of a loss, and I'm sorry for that, man, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but um, you're a big part of this community, and we all love you, and we're all we're all here to support you, buddy. Um, I've been inspired by what you've shown for music and you as a person uh, for a very long time, and uh, it's part of the reason why I'm back to say hello and to do a video and to uh, you know show some music. Um, I've been uh, busy. Um, we had some unfortunate things happening. I just I'll just talk about this for a few minutes and then get to the records because I know that's what everybody's here for but uh, my uh, father-in-law Amy's father had a brainstem stroke I think I might have mentioned this in the very last video that I did but uh, it's still still been like you know trying to regroup from from all of that and stuff so it's uh, it's been it's been tough he had a brainstem stroke uh, over a little over a year ago pretty much actually when I stopped making videos uh, just other things were more important, it seemed, and, you know, I didn't mean to, you know, turn my back on the community or anything. I never really did, actually. I still comment on videos here and there and stuff. And, but anyway, um, I'll stop talking. Uh, those who uh, are new to my channel, um, welcome. <laughs> uh, welcome to the uh, channel. I don't think I've really lost too many um, subscribers since I stopped making videos for the longest time. But um, anyway, so in the background, I don't know if you can hear it, I'm trying to keep it pretty low, but uh, listening to uh, listening to Robert Fripp, that's uh, pretty bad. Uh, uh, just one second, I gotta turn the light on here. See if it makes any difference. Might have made a little difference, I don't know. Listen to Robert Fripp. Uh, it's called Let the Power Fall, which is basically Frippatronics from 1981. I haven't listened to this in a long time. This is a very, very minty, pretty much brand new to be honest, except for a little cut here. But uh, anyway, it's, it's uh, on uh, EG Editions, promo copy in the shrink. I've had this forever, but I just haven't listened to it for a while, so I put that on. Uh, it's great for background music. Um, so yeah, I'll just show a few records of uh, some of the more recent records that I've gotten. I haven't really uh, stopped c collecting, but I definitely have slowed down quite considerably in what I buy and how much money I'm spending and whatnot. But uh, uh, this was recently sent to me from, from a friend uh, this is Daniel Bachman, Jesus, I'm a Sinner. Uh, sorry about that. It's so dark. I wonder if I turn... No, it doesn't make any difference. I, gotta, I, I don't have my old setup on my iMac. It, it's just not set up anymore. And so this is kind of dark. But anyway, Daniel Bachman on Tacoma... Or to, sorry, uh, Tom, Thompson... Tompkins Square uh, Records from 2013. An incredible kind of uh, John Fahey-esque uh, guitar player, just in just astonishing melodies and stuff that he conjures up is just highly, highly, highly recommended. I did not know about this record before it was sent to me, and uh, doing doing a uh, an interesting exchange uh, for artwork with uh, yeah with someone. So this is pretty interesting. Um, this is a really great record on uh, Rune Gramophone. This is Crocophant. This is their second album. 
which is called Crocophant 2. And basically it's three guys, uh, guitar, drums, and saxophone. Um, Tom Haslin, Axel Skullstud, and Jorgen Matheson. Uh, this was released in 20, I guess it isn't their, uh, well, it's 2015, I think it's their most recent one, maybe they have one more, but uh, it is really super cool, it's uh, kind of a blend between uh, funk and uh, and like kind of free jazz and just like really cool compositions, uh, I, I highly recommend it. I actually really like their first album more than their second, I don't have their first on vinyl. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's great. And uh, I finally got this. This is a VC fave, Zobel. Uh, Zobel, or however you want to say it. This is like minty, minty, minty fresh. Like it's just unbelievable how great of a condition this is in. From 1976. A lot of people already, already know the uh, story about this, but uh, he just made the one record and then disappeared from the music world. Um, great stuff. Herman uh, Zobel playing the acoustic piano. Anyway, amazing kind of, uh, you know, uh, prog, jazz, a little bit of everything, really funk. Uh, Oren Ambarchi and Scott Horscroft. That's, this is pretty interesting. It's not really super my thing, but I really want to let it soak in a little bit more. It's very, very experimental, like, um, uh, like electronic music and guitar and stuff. There's one tune called 19 Guitars. Um, on Textile Records from 2006. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Oren and Barty. And the last record I'll just show for now is this really funk monster, Les McCann. Talk to the People, an incredible cover of What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. And the first tune on the other side, uh, North Carolina, is probably one of the funkiest tunes you'll ever hear. Check it out on YouTube if it's on there. I'm not sure if it is. But uh, anyways, that's just like a little smattering of records that I've been listening to. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well in the VC and uh, take care of one another. And um, big shout out to you, uh, Fred. Big Star 1000. You rock, buddy. I'll uh I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.